Monday is a popular project and work management software that also offers a full feature CRM solution that leverages the easy to use and visually enjoyable user interface that Monday is known for. Now today in this monday.com CRM tutorial, I'm going to share how you can set up and effectively use Monday's forms to grow your business by capturing important information, contacts and leads. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into this tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into this Monday tutorial and help you get up and running with Monday's dynamic forms. Okay, so let's go ahead and create, set up, customize, and then embed our Monday forms into our website or share them across our different channels to collect important data. Now, it's important to note that Monday forms are available but limited in terms of the customizations in the free plan that Monday offers. Okay, so to get started with Monday Forms, simply log into your Monday account. Now, for those that are yet to create a Monday account, simply head over to your browser and type in monday.com and go ahead and sign up. Or feel free to click the link in our description below this video, and that's also going to allow you to get started with Monday for free. And you can either get started with Monday's free forever plan, which is limited and more suitable for individuals, or you can start a free trial on any of Monday's premium plans. Okay, so as you can see, I'm already inside my Monday account. Now, if it's your first time taking a look at Monday, what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will help you get up and running with Monday. Again, if it's your first time taking a look at monday.com. And with that all covered, let's dive into forms. Now, if I navigate over to workspace, you can see that I have my example workspace selected. If I navigate down, you can see that I have this folder here. This is a folder that I can customize if I like. And within this folder, you can see that I have three boards. And for the purpose of today's tutorial, I want to create a form that captures leads for my CRM. And remember, you can use Monday as a project and work management solution, as well as a CRM. Okay, so what I'm going to do is select my contacts. This is the board I want to use. And as you can see, I have three groups, website project contacts, SEO project contacts, and SEM project contacts. And what I want to do is focus on the website project contacts group. So what I'm going to do is create a form that sends contacts to this group here. So what we're going to do is navigate up to this add view button and then navigate down to form. I'm going to name this website project form and I'm happy with that. So what type of data information can you collect? Well, you can collect contacts, leads, survey information, internal feedback within your organization and a lot more. You can use forms for essentially anything. And remember, for the purpose of today's tutorial, I want to capture website project contacts. These are contacts or potential leads that are interested in starting a web design project with our agency. Now, if we navigate down to our form, we can customize any of these different sections. Now, you'll notice that there are columns within your form. So we have a name column, type column, email column, company, phone, title is hidden down here, and comments down here. Now, if we navigate back up to the top and head over to main table, you will notice that under our board, you can see the same columns that appear within our form. So these columns up here are automatically generated inside our form, and you can see those down here. So when we capture this information, name, type, email, company, all this information in these forms, that information, that data is going to be automatically generated under these columns within this group when we set it up under settings. So what we're going to do is navigate back over to form and I'm going to come down and name this website design. I'm also going to add a brief description about this form. Then I can navigate up here and add a logo and simply locate the logo that you want to use. 
And remember, you want to make sure that your form branding, theme, design is similar to your website, is similar to your business. So I've gone ahead and added my business logo. I can navigate up to here and change the theme, the style of the background of this form. Again, make sure the colors flow with your brand. Then we can navigate down to each of these different sections, these different columns, and we can change the column name if we like. We can also add a column description. And then we can navigate over here and we can choose to make this field required. So in order for the contact to submit this form, they must complete this field. Again, I can choose to turn that on or off for that section. And we can also choose to hide this column, hide this field. So for example, if I navigate down here, maybe I don't want type to display on the form. So I'm gonna go ahead and hide this on the form. Then if we navigate down further, we have email. I'm happy with that. If we navigate down further, we have company. Again, I'm happy with that. Then if we navigate down to phone, I'm gonna make sure that this is required. And then we can choose to autofill country prefix using location services. And we can also choose to use predefined country prefix. And then down here, we have title, which is hidden on the form. And then we have comments. I'm gonna change this title, relevant information. Then I'm gonna add a brief description. And I've gone ahead and added, please add relevant information that will help us understand the nature of your project and that contact can add their answer down here. Now with each of these columns, what you can also do is you can shift and move the arrangement of these different sections. So I have name, email, phone and company down here and then relevant information. Again, I can navigate back over to main table and I can scroll across and I can add an additional column if I like. For example, if I wanted to add files, so I wanted the potential contact to upload relevant files that are related to their web design project, I could add that column in here. And now if I navigate back over to my form and navigate down the page, you can see we have files down here. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that this is not hidden. And I'm gonna add in the description, please add relevant files. And I'm happy with this form. Now what I can do is navigate up to preview and preview what this form will look like. So I'm happy with this form. What I'm gonna do is head back to my form details. And then before we go ahead and share this form, we wanna make sure that the settings are correct. So navigate over to settings, and this is where we can customize our form settings. Down here under name question, we wanna make sure that this is selected, include name question in form. Then down here, you can add an updates question if you like, that allows people to update sections in the form. We're gonna leave that out for now and then come down to group answers. Where do you want the answers, the information that is submitted on this form, where do you want that to go? So for us, we want it to go inside our website project contacts. So remember, if we navigate over to main table, we want the information from the form to appear down here. And that's gonna collect all our contacts from this form. Okay, so I'm gonna navigate back and then down under success message, we can add a success message, thank you. And you can add more of your success message down here. Then below we have redirect link. You can choose to send people to a different link after they've submitted this form if you like. So for example, once a contact fills out this information, maybe you want to send them to a video. Maybe you want to send them to your services page or your homepage on your website. Again, this is optional. Then down here we have a submit another. Do you want people that submit your form to be able to submit another form? For us, we do not want our contacts to submit two forms. They only need to add their information and submit their information for this web design project form once. If you select click, then the person filling out the form that has submitted the form can go ahead and click on the form to start the form again and submit another form. Auto will automatically generate the form again once the form has been submitted. Then down here we have anonymous form. You can choose for your form to be anonymous if you like. This depends on the nature of your form. Then below this we have survey view. So we can choose to present our form as a survey. Now, depending on the nature of your form, if you intend it to be a survey, then what you wanna do is select, and that's gonna display a progress bar and a number of questions you have to fill out. Down here, you can choose to remove the form branding. So if we navigate down the form, you can see that there's Monday branding down here. You do need at least the pro plan to remove the Monday branding. 
Then if you're using the CRM product within Monday, you can choose to create a new item in the CRM product. And then we have split view if you like, but we're gonna leave it at that for now. I'm happy with my form. Then when you're ready to share your form, simply navigate up to share form and you can come down and you can share this form across your different channels in your email. You can share it through social media. And then you can also embed this form on your website or across different platforms. Simply go ahead and copy either the shareable link or the embed code. Then down here, we can go ahead and deactivate the form. And then if we have any problems with the shareable link, we can go ahead and regenerate the link if we like here. Now you can also set up automations with your form. If you want to learn more about automations, I'll add a tutorial up above and down below in the description. However, that is it for this Monday forms tutorial, helping you get started with Monday's forms. And there we have it guys. That is it for this brief monday.com forms tutorial. Now, if you have any questions about monday.com, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.